Hi YouTube, so today I'm just going to do a very quick fall eyeshadow makeup and I'm going to show you guys four different lip colors that I would wear for the fall and this is one of them. All the information will also be in the info box down below so I hope you guys really enjoy this video. I had a lot of fun just making this video. Thumbs up for this fall slash autumn video and with that said, let's get on to this video. So as always, the first thing we're going to do is prime our lids and I'm going to use the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm going to use my Naked palette and taking a large shader brush and this is Sedona Laces brush in 941. I'm just going to take the color Buck and I'm just going to apply that all over my lid. This shader brush makes applying one color to the lid super easy. Now we're going to blend out Buck with the color naked now I'm going to take the highlight shade version and apply that to my brow bone and blend it lightly into naked now I'm going to take a small pencil brush by Sedona Lace in number 904 and taking Buck, I'm just going to apply that to my lower lashes. I'm going to take Half Baked and apply that to the inner corner. Now I'm going to take a dark brown eyeliner and this is Wet n Wild's color icon in the color dark brown. And this is an eyeliner and an eyebrow pencil so it's a little laxy. But I am just going to draw my typical winged eyeliner and then I'm also going to apply some of this dark brown eyeliner on my lower lashes but I'm not going to connect it to the top liner so for the finishing touches I'm going to take my Milani liquify in the color black and I am going to tight line my lashes only my top lashes And of course, to make this eyeshadow pop, I'm going to add some false lashes. And these are just some natural lashes with some uh, flared half lashes that I applied to the end. So this is it. It's just very simple and very fast. You could pull off any lip color with this and I'm going to show you guys my favorite or my picks for fall So colors. I have four colors that I would pick for the fall that I want to show you guys. The first combination that I'm going to show you guys is um, my Opera lip liner in the color Rose. And for the fall, I just love like mauve pinks. And this is in 900B. It's a Wet n Wild's Mega Last. And this lip color is like a peachy toned um, nude lipstick. Right now, I just have chapstick on my lips, so this is my original lip color. If you guys want to compare for how um, these lipsticks will look on you. And as you can see, the combined effect is very pretty. It's just nice and nude with a hint so of for this pink next color. lip color, I again used my Opera Lip Liner in the color Rose. But instead, this time I'm going to apply Revlon's Matte Lipstick in Pink Pout. I discovered this last year and it's like the perfect dark but not too dark mauve pink. I don't know if the camera is picking up the accurate color of this lip color. To me in the viewfinder, it looks a little bit brighter in the viewfinder than it actually does in person. Hopefully the pictures will do a better job of showing you guys how pretty this lip color is for the fall. Sorry if my lips look a little weird right now, but I had to add a little bit of concealer on it because the previous two lipsticks kind of stained. But for this combination, it is the classic red. And to create my favorite red right now, I use the NYX lip liner in hot red and the Revlon matte lipstick in really red. And I'll put that on for you guys and show you guys really quick because I am running out of natural sunlight. 
So here is the lip. Of course, with this red lip, you want to be careful and take your time to line your lips with a lip liner so that it doesn't bleed and apply very carefully because it can get messy. And lastly, you cannot do a fall without a berry color. And today for my berry color, I'm going to use Wet n Wild's Color Icon Lip Liner in the color Fab Fuchsia. And it's kind of like a plummy, warmer tone lip liner compared to the lipstick. The lipstick I'm using is Wet n Wild's Mega Last Lipstick in the color C916D. So I just put that on for you guys really quick and I'll be right back. And here is the last shade, my berry shade. Um, this is a very bold and fun color for the fall. I think it looks very flattering on a lot of girls because it just brings out like a sort of dark side but not really like a dark side either. It's still feminine. So this last color concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll be going back to school, so I'll be in a new setting again. Again, I hope this was not too boring for you or anything, and I will see you guys in my next video.